What is going on boys? Welcome everybody back to another review and this is a different type of review so we are currently live on Twitch. We should be live as well while you're watching this. Um, we might be doing like an it Italy versus uh, Turkey watch along so if you want to join up that link will be in the description. But I actually managed to get uh, Forgan Hazard in a player pick which I'm stoked about on stream as well. So I thought why not let's review him. We are actually facing a viewer. He has claimed to be a gold 2 uh, player but he said, says he can beat an elite player so let's see what he's got. Drew Sick, shout out to him. He is in the chat obviously often um, but we're linking up with a Hazard you already know it's not a review without the Hazard brothers. We've gone with the Hawk. He's on 10 chem, 4 star, 4 star, 98 agility, 95 balance. He looks absolutely incredible. Now for the chem style, we've gone ahead and chosen the Hawk. 97 pace. He gets that finishing boost. Uh, he gets a plus 10 aggression and plus 5 strength as well. He's got a flare shot and I'm kind of disappointed. I was really hoping he would have a um, finesse shot, but he doesn't. But the good thing about this, right, is obviously after 3 wins, they get a plus 1. After 4 wins, another plus 1. No, no, 3 wins is a plus 2. So if Hazard goes on, obviously plays for Belgium, they've got a relatively easy group, if they win all of their knockout games, he'll go to a 93, if they win 2 and then win the round of 32 I believe it is I mean, he'll get an upgrade that way. So this card can get a lot of upgrades, lads, and that's a good thing about him. I believe he's around 300k right now. Uh, he's been out an, an hour and a half, so he's obviously going to be keep dropping. He's relatively cheap right now. Without further ado, boys, let's get into the review. All right, boys, like I said, we are going to be playing a viewer in a chat. I usually like doing Division Rivals and Foot Champ streams or, or full reviews, but I literally can't because Division Rivals in OCE, the problem of being in OCE, you can't find a matchup this early, especially with my skill rating. I think it's like 2.1k. And Foot Champs, you can find a match, but it's very sweetie 7am I've had no sleep but yeah my opponent is a good player I did forget to mention we're playing him in a 4-3-1-2 alongside his brother Eden Hazard at striker so we've got Eden Hazard Forgan Hazard and we do have Figo as our cam so without further ado boys let's get into it I'm actually really interested right I want to have a, I actually you know what I want to have a look at what uh body type he's got because he's 5'10 I think yeah no he's 5 foot 9 he's got the lean body type thank you EA Thank you. He's got the lean body type, boys. Lean body type, 98 agility. I'm looking forward to this one. 5'9 as well, so he should feel brilliant on the ball. He feels agile. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, no, I, I can't lie. This man feels agile. Wow. He feels very good on the ball. What the fuck? Che, I can't even lie, right? He feels... <laughs> It's, it's hard to compare him because he's like, I don't know. He's not like short. Go Hazard. His brother. Go on. We got we got Eden Hazard on the score sheet. Forgan Hazard kind of set that up. It was in the same clip. I can't, I can't like, it's very hard to describe how he feels. Because he, he's his agile dribbling is insane. But he's not like 5'7 or 5'8 like a Palais. He's 5'9, which isn't short, but it isn't tall. So it's very interesting. Like, he, I don't know. Something about him. His dribbling is just ridiculous. Hazard, so I don't know which one. I have to look at the in-game face. I can't look at the name above the head because they're both called Hazard. Go on, Hazard. Oh, lovely bridge and a cross net. He, he should be finishing now. I can't lie. He's done everything perfectly there. Just didn't quite have that finish. Again, Eden. That face shot can, so I almost got through. Go on, Forgan. Fake shot. Forgan again. Oh, I, I, I can't. I, honestly, boys, his shooting is underwhelming. I don't know what it is. Something's wrong with the shooting. That's two opportunities he should have scored. Like, he gets himself in ridiculous positions. He feels brilliant on the ball, but he just doesn't have that final finishing touch, man. Like, can't lie, boys. Disappointed. Disappointed. Is that Forgan making that run? That's a brilliant run. Big touch pass, Kimpembe. Is that a red? Is that a red? Is that a red? Is that a red? This is where you want to abuse his pace, though. It's not, is that a red? I don't think it is. That's a yellow, though. Okay, it's not quite a red, but... To be honest, you can abuse that so much on this game, though, can't you? Because realistically, that should be a red. Go on, Forgan, making that run out. First time, shot. That's more like it, baby. That's more like it, boys. Come on. On that left shot, on, on that left peg as well. That's more like it, Forgan. Good stuff, man. Go on, Forgan. Forgan, see what he's got. Oh, come on, man. Hey. To be fair, bad shot on my part. I probably could have taken a few more touches there. My fault. And, and I can't lie, boys, that four-star weak foot with him. Obviously, the four-star weak foot's going to be noticeable because he actually has got a four-star weak foot. But with some players like a Cristiano Ronaldo, he's got a four-star weak foot. But if you guys have used him, I swear to God, Cristiano Ronaldo feels like he's got five-star weak foot because his shot power is so good. And just in general, some players with four-star weak foot be shooting so good. It, it genuinely, it feels like they've got a five-star weak foot. Um, as for Forgan Hazard, oh, there you go, yeah, Shane, good save. Um, as for Forgan Hazard, his four-star weak foot is very noticeable. But I mean, that's not a bad thing because 
it says on the card he's four star but like you know some players genuinely feels like they've got a five star week for and he, he's not one of them gone forgan keep pushing through against De Bruyne's that not a foul it's a foul we'll take a foul boys we'll take a foul you know what let's put him on a free kick let's see what he's got 90 okay 86 free kick um 99 pins 99 power you know fifa charity man welcome back bro He's not putting a player on his line. He's got my respect. There we go. Bash shot and try that. Is that. Oh, he's going to put him on the line. Knuckleball. Oh, my fucking God. It was a knuckleball as well. That 99 power. Although his free kick accuracy isn't crazy. That 99 power is class. Hey, I hope you're doing good, FIFA Charity Man, dude. I hope you're doing good, bro. Wow. Keeper. Oh, you are fucking kidding. All right. Well, he's back in it. He's got seven minutes. What the fuck is that bounce? What is that bounce? We need one back to seal it. To seal it. Eden into uh, Hula. And that's a goal. Beautiful positioning. That shot animation as well. He had that shot animation. Like he automatically positioned himself. Almost as if he felt like he had the finish shot there. Finish shot trait, sorry. Um, beautiful finish. Beautiful positioning. And that's his second of the day. I'm not sure. I don't think he's gotten an assist already. But I think he's got two goals. He's had, a, he's had a very good return. And it looks like that has basically won us the game. Whereas God does confirmation. But I almost let my opponent back in the game here, man. It's full time. We'll take it. Very, very good performance from Forgan. Um, honestly, he, I, I can't lie. His obviously his left foot did, did us down a few times, as expected. Um, but he dropped a ten, two goals. He didn't get an assist, but a very, very, very solid performance against him and a, and a GG to Drew it, it was a very good game. I actually want to watch back his goals here. So as you can see, right, we got Eden Hazard, perfect positioning. I saw that through ball, and that was a left foot shot as well. I save a left foot shoot, uh, leading us down. He actually bags it home, and then the last goal, which was this is a crucial goal as well. This was to secure us a win, basically, to basically confirm it stays on side, and that shot animation is incredible. Let's hop over to the pros and cons, or I say pros and cons, but rating out of 10 screen. Boy, so full this Forgan Hazard card, obviously we did play a game with him. Apologies, it couldn't be in Rivals or Champs like it usually is, but once it's so early in the New, in New Zealand, very hard to find a match, especially in Rivals with my skill racing. But other than that, boys, Jusik was a very good opponent, and I mean, Hazard performed really well. Now, some things I can take away from this, 92 pace, I feel like without a Hawk or without something uh, putting that pace up, he doesn't feel, he, he won't be great but 92 pace is not great by any means so i feel like a hawk is definitely fine puts him to 97 pace gets that very very good pace boost but also that 95 finishing the 99 positioning one thing to mention right that 99 positioning was absolutely clutch for me as you can see his two of his goals both his goals came from brilliant positioning staying on side one from a set piece and one obviously in the 86 minute as you saw um as for passing um he's got only 78 long passing which we really didn't have to test out his short passing of 88 was just bang average it's doesn't have to be great for a striker dribbling wise was absolutely phenomenal he's five foot nine he's got a lean body type he's 98 agility and 95 balance he feels incredible now i do think i know what was the problem with his shooting the 84 composure that was the first con the first con today is that 84 composure um I, I literally completely forgot and that really does explain why he missed some of those chances um you guys saw like two misses straight away that is that 84 composure really really disappointing composure i don't know why ea couldn't have given him more so in front of net i'm going to be honest he's not always reliable in front of net and that composure is a big worry other than that his strength boost was fine his strength was fine his stamina was perfect his flare shot trait was cool i would have liked him to have a finisher shot uh shot trait but that being said he's four star four star um lads honestly you guys know how it works i give him a rating out of 10 on how he performed a performance rating and i give him a value rating so for the performance rating out of 10 we're going to go ahead and we're going to give him a 7.5 and for the value rating out of 10 i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to give him an eight and a half and the reason that value rating is so high my suck is just fucking falling down it's all that happened in, in, in the corner of my eyes as well the reason that uh value rating is so high is because Belgium have got a relatively easy group and he's only, he's 299k, so he's just 300,000 coins, right? 300,000 coins for a card that I feel like will at least get the free wins. So he could go up to a 93 rated. I feel it's extremely good value for 300k. So overall, boys, I would honestly say, yes, this is worth it. Um, but I, I'm not going to lie to you guys. In front of me, sometimes he can disappoint you. But anyway, lads, hopefully this review did help you out. If you are new, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And until next time, boys, peace out.